Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. Um, I'm going to start this video by basically saying when I'm in Firefox, I can, um, if I want to open a new tab, I press Ctrl T. Uh, if I click this Ctrl T, and it opens up a new tab. And I can go as many as I want, blah 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 blah. Now, what if I were to be able to do this in my computer? Uh, can't do it. If I press Ctrl T, nothing happens. There's nothing to say new tab anywhere. Um, and even if I had Internet Explorer 7, it doesn't do it. So how can I do this? Well, basically, there is a program called Qt Tab Bar, and it basically allows you to have tabs in your in into your Explorer without having its own Explorer version. It just integrates itself into your my computer, and there's nothing in the corner with it or anything like that. So uh, you need to go to the website, which I'll include in the description. Um, I'll just Google it now to show you the website. Uh, it's this one, Quizo Apps Qt Tab Bar. It, work, it looks like it works with Vista as well. So you just download it, and you'll eventually come up with this Qt Tab Bar zip file. Now I'll close this for a second. You right click it, extract it, and you'll notice that we've got tools, install native images, uninstall native images. All we're going to do is run this Qt Tab Bar.exe file. It says this will install slash uninstall. Now make sure you can get back onto this Qt Tab Bar executable if you want to uninstall because it doesn't use the ma the usual install method of add remove programs because essentially it's not really a program kind of thing it's more of a tweak and um, you'll see in a second anyway um, so you need to keep really keep this folder that you have Qt tab bar in so you can run this executable again in case you change your mind and want to get rid of it so I'm now going to install it so it says install so you've got uninstall here and it's finished so uh, now all I need to do is go on my computer and you'll notice that straight away I've got a, a tab bar here and it says my computer here. Uh, if yours doesn't and it doesn't look like it's done anything, all you need to do is right click anywhere and you'll notice that it says Qt tab bar and Qt tab bar standard buttons. Now you can get rid of your standard buttons and replace it with the Qt tab standard buttons but I didn't for the time being. Um, and then I just dragged it down to here. Make sure your, um, your toolbars are unlocked. It looks like I saved my previous settings. Uh, make sure your toolbars are unlocked and then you can just drag this around and move it anywhere. I've just dragged it at the bottom underneath my address bar. So I've then locked it locked. You can actually use the its own menu to lock the taskbar. And um, basically you can then go to properties. Um, no you don't. You go to, uh, you go onto here and then you go to options. That's the one, sorry. And uh, you'll notice that you've got several things here. Pass, open window app. There's loads of options you can do. Activate new tab, reuse existing tab. Um, all things about the tabs, if you want to close it and go back onto it, if you want multiple rows of tabs, so um, various things you can do with this. Now the most important I found was the shortcut keys tab out of all of these. Um, basically you can control various features about this Qt tab bar, but the one that interested me most was um, the clone button, the clone current tab, because it was set to control N to begin with, and I didn't know, and I was... I was um, sitting at my computer trying to press Control t because that's what I use in Firefox um, when you press Firefox and press Control t it goes onto new tabs so I was sitting there pressing it and I was like oh it doesn't work so you go into the options you go for clone current tab and then you change the key to Control and t all you have to do is just click this make sure it t it's ticked and actually p type in Control t press ok and now when I want to clone you also notice that it's got arrows whenever I click anything that means you can like go through um, a different way of going through your folders really quickly but um, if I want to clone the current tab, control T and now it works, now I have two tabs and I can uh, click this button and it will browse through all my things again or I can just go on shared documents or something and then I can switch between the two so this is adding tabbed functionality to your explorer window it's very useful if you um, do a lot of browsing and you don't like having multiple windows open of several things um, very useful, it's freeware, uh, doesn't seem to take up much um, resources, so um, feel free to download it, I'll provide the link in the description. Uh, thanks for watching my video, uh, please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos, and thanks again.